Mike's Daily Podcast. In our first restaurant, I mean, called Cafe Anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. How's it going? It's been a long time because I've been really busy. I mean, I say that all the time, but this is something I'm not than Lizzie. I am not Scottish. That was this guy. He sang, uh, just boys are back in town. And I could cry because he died. But this is Mike Matthews, and I had a very stressful week. Mike's Daily Podcast. So much so, I seriously considered never doing this podcast again. Considered other things. Mike's Including Daily Maybe aforementioned Podcast. Changes in my life. Yeah! Type things. But I think we're going to be okay. And I learned a lot a lot this week. First off, I just want to say it was my lovely lady friend and I's anniversary. Three years together. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. Good job, Mike. Yes. Very happy about that. Things to be happy about in my life. And you have listened to this podcast for a while. You knew three years ago how messed up and sad and lonely my life was. But I had the wonderful Basil the Boxer to keep me company and lots of great friends. But the lovely lady friend I was yet to meet And I met her on a tax day Yes the Actually, well We met April 5th Is when we met But we became an item um, This past week As of April 28th Three years ago So what I would like to tell you About the romantic evening That we had three years ago it involved Thai food and a very bizarre movie we watched about a guy who was supposedly, it was supposed to be Hitler had been transformed somehow from World War II to modern times. And it was interesting because the actor that played him, it was all in German, by the way. And here's today's podcast picture. And they actually shot parts of the film in public, very improvisational style. Basically to see what a crowd, a modern day crowd would say if they saw someone dressed as Hitler. And people were throwing stuff at him, punching him. It's a very bizarre movie. It's all in German. And German is not the easiest language to follow. And I've got German relatives. That's right, Basil. So Basil was there watching this movie with us three years ago. The late, great Basil the Boxer. And he is the reason why... My lovely lady friend and I met Because I was walking him And I was walking past her And she was with a friend of hers And the two of them Just went They were Oh what a great dog And that's how we started talking And years and years After my divorce People were telling me Oh you'll meet someone one day Walking Basil And they were right Because I did Okay This was a stressful week Because And I'm going to tell you why Imagine If You spent three years trying to build something. That's isn't that interesting? By the way, it was the three-year anniversary, and then the next day, on Thursday, suddenly three years of work vanished at my work. Three years of work. Imagine that you were spending, let's say, a, a project. You were building something. It it was taking you three years And suddenly whatever that was you were building Was destroyed Blown apart Napoleon Bonaparte Just destroyed Gone Imagine that And then imagine That you are trying to Keep operating as if Everything that you had in place You had instilled in place For the past three years was still there But it wasn't Because it just been destroyed So you're basically Stop laughing people in the background <laughs> Don't laugh at me here At Cafe Anyway about this I'm basically trying to I'm scrambling To build This uh, I'll say it's a radio station Because you know I work in radio And basically The entire database For this radio station Was destroyed And you can blame, you can do the blame game You can blame all kinds of people involved And make up little scapegoats And try and blame them 
to make you feel better But in the end you're stressed out Because you're trying to you're, First off you're like oh my gosh all that work is gone So you feel grief You feel loss And in some ways it reminded me In, in a strange way of, of when Basil passed away uh, About eight months ago now it was, it was June, June of last year Which was odd because Everything that was on the hard drive Disappeared, went all the way back to June of 2018 So I don't know what the significance is with the month of June Basically the hard drive went all the way back to 2018 So everything I had done from now till back then erased So Basil the Boxer, when he passed away I felt this loss, obviously And also a sense of, well, I've spent all this time with this dog And have, you know, I I worked so hard when he got sick To make him feel better, to make him have a good life All the work that I did was suddenly gone And you feel that loss because your body, your mind Is still saying, "I've I've got to work I've got to do, you know, keep going And then suddenly the, the, the steps you were standing on Completely gone The staircase completely gone You're in midair like Wile E. Coyote And now you're falling down To the bottom of the canyon somewhere Poof So that's what I was feeling I was feeling that I was feeling really tired Because I had to fill in for someone At five in the morning At the radio station I used to do that by the way When you listen to this podcast From 2015 to around 2018 I was doing the podcast early in the morning Before there were some live shows That I helped produce And I would do a quick little podcast for you And you can go back to listen to those At mikesdailypodcast.com But yeah I so But I'm not used to doing that anymore So I had to get up really early And then the rest of Wednesday was shot Oh and it was also my anniversary So I'm celebrating that And then Thursday morning the bomb hit And suddenly this loss And all that work And the stress Oh my gosh the stress And then I'm trying to get things done And and there are some people at work That were not helping They were doing a lot of Gaslighting a lot of just doing stuff for their own sake and not helping me. You know, there there, there was a lot of uh, suddenly though. Suddenly, I I a team. I created a team, and there were people that helped me. And and the only reason why I'm podcasting today is because a lot of people yesterday and a lot of people today, as we go outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcaster Valley, ten today. A lot of people started to help me And a lot of people were offering their help And that's what I need That's what you need in a situation like that Is for people to come out and to help you So when you help someone out You are doing You don't Oh my gosh The amount uh, What a gift you are giving You know what? How you are Raising someone out of the depths when you do that They may not show it to you Like oh thanks or whatever No but you are and and you're a hero And thank you for those of you who help other people out Okay so let's say you're in a stressful situation You know what the uh, heart.org says is Be honest We all talk to ourselves Sometimes we talk out loud But usually we do it in our heads Self talk can be positive I can do this, everything will be okay Or negative, I'll never get better I'm so stupid, oh my gosh, three years are gone Oh no, oh woe is me Negative self-talk increases stress Positive self-talk can help you Calm down and control stress So try doing Shifting negative thoughts to positive ones I can't do this Don't say that, say say instead I'll do the best I can I've got this That sounds so Cliche, but that's you know, just try and say it. I'll do the best I can. I've got this. I got people can help me. I can handle this if I can take one step at a time. I know how to deal with this. I've done this before. I can reach out and help and get help if I need it. Um, you know, and if you've made a mistake, say, I'm human. We all make mistakes I can fix it You can 
To really make it work, practice positive self-talk every day in the car, at your desk, before you go to bed, whenever you notice negative thoughts. It's a great practice to teach kids too. And you know, I had a lot of negative thoughts hit me. It still does early in the morning. If for some reason, like four or five or six o'clock in the morning, I get the negative thoughts and I, it's very difficult to turn it off, but to try to con- change it around to positive thoughts. Easier said than done, but it's what you have to try to do. Count to 10 before you speak or react. Emergency stre- stress stoppers are actions to help you diffuse stress in the moment. Take a few slow, deep breaths until you feel your body unclench a bit. Go for a walk, even if it's just the restroom and back. It can help break the tension and give you a chance to think things through. Somebody yelled at me at work when all this was going down, and that did not help the stress situation. That was that was the opposite of all this stuff I'm talking about. Try a quick meditation or prayer to get some perspective. If it's not urgent, sleep on it and respond tomorrow. That problem I found was I couldn't sleep. I was too stressed out. And the fact that the day before all this happened, I hadn't gotten any good sleep because I'd slept like, like four hours and had to work at five and tried to take a nap and couldn't because everyone was trying to call me on different things. But respond to my it, it especially works well For stressful emails And social media trolls Respond tomorrow Wait on it Walk away from the situation for a while Handle it later Once things have calmed down I actually was uh, Working from home yesterday And I found that helped a lot Because I was trying to fix the situation Outside of the chaos And the crazy Break down big problems into smaller parts Take one step at a time Instead of trying to tackle everything at once Take a break to pet the dog Hug a loved one Or do something to help someone else When you help someone else It helps you And there are stress busting activities too Like make art Work on a scrapbook (laughs) Yours truly has I don't think I've ever done a scrapbook I did a photo book Back when we had pictures That it wasn't digital But yeah Meet a friend for coffee or a meal Play a favorite sport uh, Play with your kids or pets Outdoors if possible Take a walk in nature Sit outside in nature like now Work in the garden or do a home improvement project I don't know about that I'm so st- Home improvement projects stress me out even more That probably wouldn't help But the key is to find your groove and make it a practice So you must work on that Those are some helpful tips From yours truly Hey the I just found out That the person you hear that says Here's, today podcast, here's today's podcast Here's today's Picture, which by the way, the podcast picture today was taken about a week ago in the beautiful moonlight. I think they called it the pink moon about a week ago. And there was a deer standing there up on a hill in the moonlight in Podcastro Valley. And you can see that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. But the person that says that and does the little thing at the end, giving you the website address again, Ariel is pregnant. And she and her husband are going to be having a baby shower soon I was invited I It's going to be on a Saturday Which is really, 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 really tough for me Very tough And tough for my lovely lady friend Because she is a therapist And a lot of her patients meet with her on Sundays So I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to that it, It's looking like I won't be able to But at any rate, there you go Way to go, Ariel Okay, (laughs) you'll be a great mom You and your husband are great people You'll be great parents Speaking of moms, Mother's Day is coming up A week from tomorrow And by the way, you can listen to me tomorrow And the following Sunday, all Sundays For the foreseeable future From 9am until 4pm Pacific time On the radio, playing music In fact... The station I'm working for is going to be changing format slightly and that it's going to be playing a little bit more um, classic stuff 
So there'll be more about that next weekend. But you can find the link at mikesdailypodcast.com to listen to that show that happens on Sundays. We're outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcaster Valley. To look who is here. By the way, Basil the Boxer was the podcast picture, last podcast picture, a picture from 10 years ago. We miss him so much. And just, you know, never forget your, your pet friends, which, by the way, I think May 9th, through uh, or actually Wednesday next week through Mother's Day next week is going to be a special pet adoption couple of days group of days where there'll be special discounts when you adopt a pet uh, the pet adoption fees are supposed to be lowered quite a bit so that's good news look who's here hello my commercial to Madam the big old I am so sorry about all your stress oh yeah Lots of stress. Do you ever get stressed? Yes. Do you like to combat stress by counting to three and taking deep breaths? Yes. Do you combat stress by punching me in the face? No. Good. Look who else is here. Hello, D. Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, I really hate it when you're in a stressed out situation. And somebody doesn't help And all they do is throw gasoline on the fire there By making it more stressful they- Yeah, stressful idiot people Do it! That's right If you are not helping a situation If you are making the stress level In a stressful situation worse You need to shut it down, buddy Or ma'am Shut it down, shut it off Get out of the way You're not helping I don't understand people like that they don't, they, They're they so inconsiderate They're just in their own little zone Sad really, very sad Next pic- next podcast This is what I was going to say Next podcast, it's going to be Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman And John Deere the Engineer Thank you for listening I wish you well in whatever stressful situation you have It's going to get better, things will be fine Thank you for listening if you want to chime in about anything that we covered today, 336-MM-DAILY. That's 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is a Mike Matthews. Daily as in what this podcast will try to be, hopefully, as things calm down more in my life. And that was FF episode 2,238. 2238. Thanks for listening. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.